Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Thank you as always for your tweets. Shaka with me here in the studio. Frank LaBeouf, who's just, we had to wait a little bit for Frank to finish dinner. Well, what, 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 who are we having dinner with tonight, Frank? What time, uh, what, what I had time dinner is this with for dinner? Uh, uh, well, now that it's late, but we had a dinner at the Eiffel Tower on top, Ooh. not on top, but on the first floor of the Eiffel Tower. And, uh, and I was with uh, some artists and especially a big chef is a friend of mine, he's called Cherry Marks. He has lots of restaurants, third stars, uh, Michelin. And I have to say that I was watching the French national team game while I was having the dinner. So I was hiding my phone and pretending that I was fully uh, listening to, my, uh, to the other guests while, while I was watching the game. But it was what, nice, it was nice. What a life, Frank LeBeau. Uh, dinner, dinner in the Eiffel Tower. Uh, what was the highlight, Frank, yeah. of the food? Oh, that was great. We had some foie gras in, uh, in starter, mm. then we had some lobster, and then uh, a little bit of fish, and we had a pavlova uh, dessert with some meringue, so, and some red wine from Bourgogne, some mercury red wine, Bourgogne, of course, with champagne uh, to start with. Wow, fantastic. Was it, all, uh, was it yeah. free? Excuse me? Was it free? Of course it's free! I don't pay for anything! Where's the invite? <laughs> well, I, how do I get on that gig? Oh, brilliant. Oh, I'm wearing shorts, you know, I'm, Frank. You know, I'm, I'm <laughs> sure I spend one night... I spend one night in, uh, in, uh, in the restaurant, not that one, but the one above, for right. five people, and I paid that day, I paid that night, it cost me 1,500 euros the dinner. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's pretty expensive. The ocean. So I was drop happy the tonight ocean, to have Frank. free dinner. Yeah, no, that's all right. <laughs> so you're off having posh dinners. Meanwhile, anyone who follows Mario on Instagram, do you follow Mario on Instagram? No. So no, Mario's what, on Instagram. What's interesting on Mario's Instagram, he has a lot of pedicures. Uh, is this a, a daily routine, oh. Mario? I feel like I see <laughs> oh, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> listen, listen. Hey, listen, if a man don't go to a spa, pedicure, yep. hiking, sport. Guys, listen, we got to do all the things we couldn't do when we were playing football. Now I enjoy my life. Allow me to enjoy. No, you could definitely enjoy it. I just, it just seems excessive <laughs> pedicure. Yeah, you enjoy it too much. <laughs> Look at Saga. <laughs> Hey, I will never stop talking. I keep going. <laughs> no, right. Our time. Let's... Listen, wait. Before we before we talk, you know that where me and Frank come from. If you saw our training ground, trust me, this is luxury now. Where we came from, Frank. I came into the door and I saw Frank sitting. I was like, is this a box or something, Green? Yeah. And now it's all luxury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back, back in the true, days, back in the old Chelsea days. Right. Uh, let's talk soccer ball. Shaka. How are Denmark and Senegal in your World Cup power rankings and not Portugal? It seems very disrespectful considering their squad has Diaz, Cancelo, Ronaldo, Bruno, Jota, Felix, Mendes and Silva. Got a point. He does. Ooh. Next time. Did you forget about Portugal? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why you don't get invited to the Eiffel Tower. Right. Oh, no, that's why? Yeah, exactly. Right, so if I put Portugal in my power ranking, right. I'll get invited to the Eiffel Tower. Wow. OK, Mario. Of course. Early prediction. Yeah. Who do you oh, think gosh. wins the golden ball, the golden boot, and the best young player for the World Cup? Ooh. Wow. Ooh, OK, the best young Ooh. player. I mean, golden boot, I go for Mbappé. He's definitely yes. going to be scoring. The best young, the young player. I mean, can he scoop that still up? Because I give that to him too. Was he no 23? Then, That's not young. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, you can't. I don't know if you can still get it. Uh, the best player over over the tournament. Whew. Hey guys, you're testing me there, man. Oh man. Yeah. How about I just give it to a classic player? I call a Benzema out and just say like, hey, he's going to be firing again. No, young and player, yeah. young Cup. player, not the, oh, 35 young, years no. old. <laughs> best old player. Best player, best player, I said best old, best old player. Best old player. player. Best old player. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, you see, nice. Frank, why are you testing me like that? Now, uh, now my head is cracking, it. man. I think I said enough, guys. I gave you two already. Uh, for Dan Thomas, who is the most difficult pundit you've ever worked with? Pele, useless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, because, not because of him, but because of you. No, nothing to do. It was a brilliant to... interview. And I, oh. he, ruined, he ruined it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Sure. Uh, sure. Mario, Van Dijk and De Ligt have had rough starts to their season. Memphis is on the bench and Frankie is not a regular. Despite this, do all of these players have a guaranteed spot in the starting 11 in the World Cup? Yes, if you look mm. at Van Dijk, he's the captain. Um, he definitely has to bring the P's and the E's into the team. The only thing that Fagal jumped on today, it was that he didn't want them to concede, playing against top strikers like Lovadeski and Milik. Camila came on afterwards, but when you um, when you look at that's one of the key things. And Van Dijk didn't even play today because you know, like the, the key thing now is is for for Holland uh, the young doesn't play all the games in Barcelona. Memphis Depay doesn't play all the games, but those are the key guys eh, in Holland. You know, like if you look at the Memphis, the young Van Dijk, they are the, the spine of the team, and. Um, I think regardless if they don't play at their club, they have to play for Holland. Why? Because this is out and out the best three players that I call in that squad. So they have to play. And I know it, it sounds really crucial because I don't like people being selected if you don't play at your team. But sometimes guys, and I say that in Holland too, they do that sometimes. You got to step away from the norm because you got to just select. If you're good enough, play him because you need him. It's not anymore like uh, Holland is in the luxury and say like, oh, <laughs> We got a country with, you know, like the size of uh, Brazil or America or, you know, no, we don't have that size, guys. We come from a 17 million uh, people country, so we should be happy that we got top talents like them too. For Frank, who regularly speaks about winning the World Cup, well, that's a very fair statement to start with. Uh, does when, he regret... When did I say that? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> does, do you regret, Frank, not winning the Champions League? Would you have made a different career choice looking back in order to achieve this? Well, um, that's, there is a regret. In 99, we reached this uh, quarterfinal of the Champions League and we lost against Barcelona on extra time. And I think uh, uh, Gianluca made the last change and made uh, Bernard Lambert coming in, but he didn't know who he had to mark in the corner kick. And I shout to him, Mark Danny, Mark Danny, and it was the 90th minute. And he didn't hear me, and then he scored, and they collided and went on extra time. Lost Baba on red card, and lost 5-1. And we got back to the dressing room, and we were so upset because our, we all thought that that, that year when Manchester United won the Champions League, we would have been able to do so as well, and uh, to do so, and, and, and maybe win that Champions League. Otherwise, I never I had the chance to be in a big club uh, in my life. Chelsea was on his, uh, on his um, ascendance, but uh, never uh, thought about playing the, 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 the Champions League when I signed for them. And uh, so I didn't have a lot of game to play with the Champions League, but I won 10 titles. Uh, in my career, I won the uh, Cup Winners' Cup, I won the Super Cup, but I never had the chance to win the Champions League. But I never won a championship as well. I didn't win the Premier League uh, because I think Chelsea didn't have the, uh, all the, the tools to do so. But I mm. played in a good club. I, I, I made Chelsea, I guess, well, we made Chelsea being better with, uh, with Mario, with some other players, many other players. But I think Chelsea reached the top when uh, Abramovich came and saw uh, some other players uh, with top, uh, top level. But I don't have regrets. Uh, I, I think I've been fortunate to win so many titles, so many things, so many titles. Uh, but it's not a regret. The only time it was in 99, I thought we could have done better, but that's part of uh, our life of uh, footballers. Ten titles, everyone, in case you weren't uh, listening. Ten titles for Frank. Yeah. That won't come up again. Yeah, that'll be repeated mm -hmm. again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad yes thing. <laughs> Yesterday, Dan and I won and the World Cup. In case you didn't know, I won the World yes, Cup. Yes, we... Mm -hmm. Lumen, yes, yeah, yep. we know, Frank. Don't and worry. And you've had dinner at the Eiffel Tower. And free dinner at the Eiffel Tower. And you have dinner for free at the Eiffel Tower. And you've got a book oh, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you've got a sneakers deal. Oh, 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 well. oh my God. And you've got a fancy, oh, yeah. fancy home and, with a fancy and, roof. Yeah. And, <laughs> you and have a fancy roof when too, I came yeah. To Chelsea. Mm -hmm. When I came to Chelsea, he did shock me, though. I have to say that. I remember coming into the dressing room, open the door, and see maybe three World Cup winners in the dressing room. Frank Leboeuf. Yeah. Desai. Uh, and Didier Deschamps. They're sitting in there and I walk in and I'm a young boy of 21 years old trying to compete at that time with 
Didier Deschamps and uh, Albert Ferrer for a position into the starting 11. And I was like, wow, this is real life. Okay, let's go. But they Very all won cool. it. They won exactly what we all wanted to win. We all mm. wanted to win it. Yeah. And was Frank and nice to you, Mario? It. Did it he did talk well. to you? Were you allowed Frank. to look him in the eye? Yes, yes. Frank was nice to me. I, I never had any problems with with anybody of the team. You know, like I was a young boy. I had to learn from the guys that, that were in the game already way ahead of me. I learned a lot from them. I played with Frank. But the thing was, what was really key for me is that they made you feel welcome. I, I didn't feel like anybody was like making me feel like, well, what are you doing? Uh, no, I never felt Dan, like Dan, you have to say that in the dressing room, we were like eight players per dressing room because you had like four yes. or five dressing rooms. So we yes. we were mm. with, uh, with Mario and uh, and the, the, I think the Dario is talking Just about. Way out. Just uh, way out. Don't forget way out. Yeah, we had George, we had, we had Dan Petrescu, I think, and we had um, Jimmy Floyd and uh, and yes. uh, uh, De Ruy, I think De Ruy, and yes. uh, I, I'm, I'm wondering yes. if Bogard was still there. And the only thing, we, we yeah. love them uh, because they, they, they were very nice people, but you know, every time we were looking at each other, George, myself, DJ, and Marcel, because when they were talking to each other with their languages, you know, with the language, the Dutch, it's like they were they were insulting each other no, while they were talking we're nicely to each other. Yeah. But I was very strange for us. But they, they they were talking more than me. When Craig Craig is saying that I was talking a lot, you you should have you should have heard. You know, Jimmy Floyd. I said I'm talking to Mario Malcott, who who talked to the Roy. That was something. That was really something. <laughs> I, I was believing that story. I was believing that story up until Frank said they talk more than him. Yeah, that's something. You had me hooked. <laughs> and then you go and say they were talking more than you. And, uh, uh. Yesterday, I swear, Dan and I Don swear, had an up. argument on, on Kane wanting to win trophies or break Shearer's record. What would you want? A record to your name or a trophy? A trophy. We, yeah. we've, we've had this discussion time and time again. Mm. This is a team sport. Well, it's, it's Don. Don talking nonsense, yeah. isn't it? It's Don. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Did the panel... Mm. Oh, this is right up your street, Mario, with your music ways. Did the panel listen to music before a big game for motivation? And who was your favourite music artist back in your playing days? Did you just listen oh to yourself, God. Mario? You're just your, your single you know, on repeat. I didn't, I, I, I didn't have music like that, but let me tell you something. When I came, when I joined Chelsea, you had a young, you had, you had some, um, you had the, the, the team there, but they had that speaker. They put it in the middle, and I was like, I just came from Ajax. We didn't have the uh, Ajax, so I come to Chelsea. They put the speaker on, and they played. At that time, was Donald Jones was coming, and they blew it up. Oh man, you hear? Ooh, say what? Say what? Say what? You know? Oh man. Guys, <laughs> let me not get into singing because singing I'm not good at. But I remember those times. And I end up being buddies with him, so I thank him for that. But that music, oh man, guys, yeah. Oh. That motivated you, you like it. If you didn't like it, then you walk out of the dressing room, but you had nothing to say because the majority of the team liked hearing music. So then you just join in. Wait, Mario, you said you're not a good singer. What role did you play in the, the single that you released then? <clears throat> Oh, yeah, I was trying, but I wasn't a good dad. I'm sorry, but <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, 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 A very, a very honest critique. critique. Let's not bring that up. Uh, <laughs> I want to bring it up. A uh, very honest critique. Did you write the lyrics as well? Uh, no, listen, I, 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 let's say it like this. I managed to live a life how an artist lived it. You know, go to the studio, record, uh, yeah. go on TV. So I went on the, the, the biggest show in Holland, dancing, kids show, everything. But I tell you honestly, my friend, I was happy when it was over because we came in the top 100, but I was happy to jump out because music and singing, clearly I was a footballer because that's my singing and it didn't work. <laughs> it came in the top 100? <laughs> what, what place yes. is it at, Mario? In Holland 97. only, not in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in Holland, my friend. We made it to Holland. We didn't go outside yet, but we were oh. in Holland. Frank, you haven't released a single yet. You've done everything else. Uh, what you mean? Uh, uh, according to your question, do you want me to no, answer? No, you, you, did the you, you, you did the Mars Singer, didn't you, as well? I did so the Mars Singer. Yeah, 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 there you go, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I didn't take lessons because I'm naturally gifted. 
and I'll and I can sing fantastically. <laughs> Frank, you can do a lot, but then you could not uh, do it. Oh, brilliant. Uh, uh, that is, uh, that we've, we've, um, we've run out of time. Uh, that is it. Uh, thank you very much, Frank. I've got to look at Mario's single on Spotify. <laughs> Top 100 in Holland. <laughs> what a moment. <laughs> uh, we will be back uh, tomorrow for more. Shaggy, you could release a single? Uh, not long by tomorrow. Well, that's well I don't know. We can rush it together. Uh, we'll be back here, of course, look back at the US against Japan. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.